Hello beautiful community and welcome to this week's Q&A which is all about fear holding you hostage and I think it is perfectly divine right now that I am walking home and look at what is there a big fence right this is very symbolic because it's this big fence that stand this fence of fear that is standing between you and your dream and this shows up in every aspect of our life when we are truly being run by fear the fear of being too much what if i you know really like this guy but he thinks that i'm too much he thinks i'm too spiritual or not the right weight or too too deep too to this to that there's this real fear of actually stepping into your fullness and who you really are and asking for what you truly truly desire and this used to be me 1000% I was so scared to bring in who I really was so scared especially I would never bring in my spiritual self ever I was like oh god no that would not be you know a smart thing to do that would not be accepted and so what I was doing and what many of you are doing right now is you're like chopping yourself off layer by layer by layer of who you really are because it's more important to you to be accepted by the guy. And it's like you're twisting yourself like a pretzel to be who you think you should be. And it's never, ever, ever going to work out for you. And you know that right now, like so many people that come to work with me have been single for 10 years longer or they haven't ever really had a true heart connected relationship and this is because you're keeping yourself at arm's length not just from men but from yourself I want you to really get that you're not even in a soulmate relationship with yourself you're not letting yourself be who you truly are you're not expressing yourself you're not speaking up you're not taking up space you're not setting really powerful boundaries you're not asking for what you feel you're deserving of in your job like from even from a pay perspective even in friendships and your bank account is reflecting that and this is because the nucleus the underbelly of this conversation is is that you are being governed by fear you've got the fear of being too much on one hand and then the fear of not being enough. And then, ironically, the fear of actually getting what you want. So, so many of our women that do come in and, and, and up-level their life are more terrified <laughs> to get what they want. They're like, well, I know how to miss out. I know how to play small. I know how to live in scarcity. I know how to live in protection. But Lucy, you're telling me that I can actually get what I want? That's scary. You're telling me that I need to actually come out of my shell and, and step up and get out of my comfort zone? That's scary. So it's this oxymoron, this irony of like, damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? Scary to be who you are and scary to step into who you are all at once. Can you feel that? I know I was certainly in that place where I knew there was so much more to me and I, I, could, I knew uh, what I wanted in terms of a relationship, but I wasn't being what I wanted to attract, right? Does that make sense? I want you to really get this. I had it all done on a vision board. I could feel into what I wanted, but when I got honest and looked at myself and said, am I being that for myself? The answer was a hell's no, absolutely not. I was not loving myself. I did not believe in myself. I certainly did not feel worthy of receiving love, not at all. And that stems back to um, a lot of abandonment as a little girl um, and I just really internally talked myself out of love I was just like you know I'm not good at commitment um, I'm not good at relationships I was terrified of love truly I really really was and many of you right now will be feeling this deeply in your heart that the truth is you are terrified of love otherwise you you wouldn't be in this community and you're like, no, I'm not Lucy. It's just I haven't met the right guy yet. Not true. So stop feeding yourself that BS because it's a hiding place. You are, you've got to first of all admit to yourself, I'm really scared that if I let love in, that I'm going to be rejected. I'm really scared that if I'm vulnerable, that I'm going to be rejected. So what's the point? And this is where you're staying in the same place because you're not doing anything different. Took me a decade to really get that. And it doesn't have to take that long for you. 
because we all do have a, a, a body clock. And for those of you wanting children, I invite you to really let yourself receive this message because it's not about using time as urgency to scare you. It's about you really upping the stakes and the urgency so that you can make this dream a reality right now. So that you're not living with regret. So that you're not going, God, I wish when I had the chance, when I still could have had children, I wish I'd done something. I wish I'd just followed through. I wish I'd just taken action. I don't want you to have that regret. And I know that many of you are feeling very deeply, you know what, I do need to do something about this. But then what comes up is the fear of investing in yourself. Oh my God, um, I don't want to spend that money on myself. Just say it doesn't work. Again, you're not doing anything to move yourself forward. You are literally saying to the universe, you know what, I'm just happy with missing out on the relationship because at least I know what that is. And you're not taking a risk and you're not leaping out into the unknown. And the unknown is the only place to change your life. You are not going to change anything from inside your comfort zone. Uh, Lauren just said, still feeling a little bit of this soulmate resistance here and there. Yeah, because when we've been scared to let love in for decades, right, for over 30 years, and suddenly I'm saying, yeah, you can have a soulmate relationship. You can absolutely attract in basically anything that you want. This is so much bigger than the soulmate. And the truth is, is that if you're holding back in love, I am telling you right now, you're also holding back in your career because all of this centers back down into a lack of self-worth, a lack of belief in your greatness, your magic, that you're fucking amazing, right? You're not leading with your queen. Your little girl has been running your life all this time up until right now, and she will not bring you in your king. She will bring in a boy not a man who is on the same frequency as you with the disbelief. And that is why there are so many fractured relationships in the world right now, because people are coming from fear. Well, I better just get married because I'm 30 or I'm 40. I better just go through the motions because that's what's expected. And so it's wound, right? Disbelief attracting wound and disbelief. And that's why there is such a high divorce rate and so many children suffering because of these bad decisions, because it's not coming from a place of wholeness. So really the big message here is we attract who we are. And that is why in my program, I do not help you to get a better profile picture or tell you what to say to men like a lot of other dating coaches out there. I'm not a dating coach, I'm a self-love coach to get you into your heart space, madly deeply in love with the woman that you are, celebrating the woman that you are, so that of course you're gonna attract in the most amazing relationship, hashtag of course because you did the work to stand up to your fear and to say, hey, you don't get to run my life anymore. You don't get to keep me small anymore because I'm an abundant queen and I am the one calling the shots and I will have love in my life. And that is truly where you need to be in your belief system. <sighs> Puffing because I'm pregnant. <laughs> so I'm walking up a hill. You can't fake it with the universe. You can say words, right, to the cows come home. I'm confident, I'm worthy. But if you don't fully believe that, they are just words. The work that I teach is about embodying that love for yourself. And then by the law of attraction, what happens? Of course you attract in someone who loves his self or herself, depending you know, if you're who you're into. So I wanna just simplify the message to say that this is not hard. The work gets real. The work is definitely gonna take everything you've got, 100%, if we're helping women change their life in eight weeks, yes, it goes deep. No, it's not a walk in the park, but it's eight weeks, right? Eight fucking weeks. And I work with women that have been trying to solve this for decades with therapy, talking about the same shit and deliberately avoiding what they know they need to work on and no one's holding their feet to the fire. I go, why didn't therapy not work for you? Because I didn't wanna deal with what I, I knew I needed to deal with. I didn't want to go there. <laughs> I'm like, well, what's the point of that? So this conversation is about using fear to propel you forward instead of letting it stop you because there is nothing wrong with you. You are not bad at dating. You do not have to be thinner. It's none of that. It's not because of COVID. It's not because of where you live. It is none of that. It is about you not having belief in yourself and allowing fear to run your life, just like I was doing. 
and it was having me drink too much. It was having me overcompensate. It was having me hide. It was having me hold back. It was strangling me. And it was costing me my best years until I stood up and said, fuck you, fear. Fuck you so hard. This ends now. <laughs> and that was the beginning of the rest of my life. Then, of course, I invested in myself, which felt really, really scary, really uncomfortable against everything in my body. I was like, oh, my God. And it was the best thing that I ever did, because if you're not investing in yourself, you are not valuing yourself as worthy. It's amazing how we'll invest in a car or invest in university or a house. And yet when it comes to ourselves, we're like, oh, I don't know. That's expensive. <sighs> no, you are the most important person you can ever invest in. So cut the bullshit, cut this bullshit around scarcity and I can't afford it. Stop allowing fear to hold you back and choose yourself. Because when you do, the whole universe is gonna to conspire to support you. And what we're talking about right now is you stepping into the life that you deserve and the life that you were born to live. And anything other than that is you committing to staying safe and the, the outcome I can tell you is gonna be you're gonna miss out on your dream. And that's just not acceptable. We're not here to struggle. We're not here to complain and live in victimhood and woe is me. We're here to celebrate our lives, to be happy in the body and the skin that we're in, no matter what trauma we've been through, no matter what upbringing we've had. Everything is about going, do I choose to let that run my life or do I wanna overcome that and, and, and use that to rise? Okay, so that's my message. Yes, Lauren, you are fully worthy. So stop letting your bullshit scarcity hold you back. Stop with the excuses. Stop with I'll do this when I'm ready. You are the only one that can fight for yourself. You are the only one that can choose to change your life. And I'm telling you right now, hope is not a strategy. You're not just suddenly after 10 years going to attract in your soulmate. It doesn't work like that because internally, You've got this internal sat nav, right? Of beliefs and worthiness. And right now, if you're not doing the work, then you're, you're not going to attract in the type of relationship that you really want. So stop with the holding pattern, get out of your own way and truly make a decision for yourself. Do you know what? I'm gonna change my life. I'm gonna do the work. I'm gonna get the support. And this is the year that I'm gonna attract in my soulmate. This is the year that I'm actually gonna live on purpose. This is the year that I'm gonna be celebrating the hell out of my next birthday because I love being me. That is like winning the lottery. It is not the guy that is gonna make you feel worthy. It is you, it has always been you. And it is not the man that you've been looking for, believe it or not, it's you. It's you that you've been looking for your entire life. It's the relationship with you that's been missing, right? So stop ripping yourself off and do the fucking work and, and collectively come join me in my community to make this world a better place because we, we, cannot, we can't do it alone. We can only do it together. <laughs> Shivani said, instead of waiting to feel deserving, believe you're deserving right now. Yes, Shivani stepped up, she was terrified. She had so many questions <laughs> when she was joining Soul to Soul, but she chose herself, right? And now she's up leveling every day and giving you advice. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, yes, Lauren, living your fullest, most epic life. Lauren was on the fence too. She was terrified to do this. And now I can't shake her out of my vortex. She's a lifer <laughs> because it works. So I'm gonna stop huffing and puffing in your face. I'm gonna send you so much love. And this is a big reminder to say, you can have life the way that you want it, but don't be lazy. It's not gonna just happen for you. You've gotta be the co-creator and get off your ass, step up and do the work, okay? Because what we're talking about is shifting over 30 years of conditioning and that shit does not happen on its own, okay? If I can do it and all my clients can do it, you can too. So let's rock 2021. Let's get you where you need to be down the dream highway towards that dream. I'm so excited for you.